Since Honda introduced the name Passport in 2019, it served as a mild-mannered two-row SUV that sits between the smaller CRV and the larger three-row pilot. Over that time span, many category competitors have increased their brawn factor, or at least the appearance of it. We see you, Pathfinder Rock Creek Edition and Santa Fe XRT. The revamped 2026 Honda Passport isn't going down without a fight. With a tough exterior and considerable hardware changes aimed to help it reclaim some ground on both the showroom floor and the trail. From what we now know, the improvements include a stiffer chassis, courtesy of Honda's small light truck platform, a beefed up suspension, fresh styling and tech inside, and an exterior that looks to be the product of a torrid love affair between a Toyota 4Runner and a Ford Bronco Sport. And we mean that as a compliment, the 3.5-litre V6 returns with additional ponies and a new-to-the-passport 10-speed automatic transmission funnels output to an upgraded all-wheel drive system. There's more rear seat and cargo room thanks to a longer wheelbase plus a shorter front overhang to increase the approach angle, the better to climb over obstructions on the trail. Though it all sounds appealing, we'll wait until we test one to make our final judgment on how well this more muscular pilot works. Speaking of which, Honda says the 2026 Passport will hit dealerships in early 2025. While the 3.5-litre V6 returns, it gets a slight power bump of five ponies for a total of 285. The former 9-speed automatic is swapped out for 10-speed, which sends its output to Honda's IVTM 4 Torque, vectoring all-wheel drive system. Stopping gets a boost with the larger brake rotors, up 1.2 inches in diameter, and calipers. The exterior features fender flares, a new-look front fascia, a fresh headlamp design, a bolder C-pillar, and beefier roof rails. The new Pilot rides on a 2.8-inch longer wheelbase with a 1.4-inch wider track, and ground clearance is now up a smidge to 8.3 inches. Interior updates include a new, larger infotainment screen, standard heated seats, power folding mirrors, and a heated windshield. We're happy to report the optional picnic table is back too. The Passport lineup is shuffled for the 2026, with the new RTL trim replacing the former EXL and the Trail Sport Alight replacing the Black Edition. Pricing information for the new 2026 Passport won't be revealed for some time, but Honda says the 2026 lineup will start in the mid $40,000. While it's too early to make an official recommendation, we feel the Trailsport model's standard trailer hitch and wiring, unique styling cues and beefier suspension will be well worth the upcharge. We'll circle back and update this story as specific pricing details become available. Honda's 285 horsepower 3.5-liter V6 paired with a 10-speed automatic is the sole available powertrain. Peak torque of 262 pound-feet arrives at a rather lofty 5,000 RPM. If those numbers sound familiar, it's likely because the same engine and transmission are used in the Pilot SUV. Honda's IVTM4 all-wheel drive system also makes its Passport debut in the 2026 model. The torque vectoring system is claimed to provide 30% faster response than the previous setup and features a stronger rear drive unit with 40% more torque capacity compared to the outgoing Passport. Honda says the chassis is significantly more rigid than the previous version, as it's based on the Honda light truck platform. Read, Ridgeline pickup truck. That also means beefier suspension bits. There's also a unique suspension tune for the Trailsport models and several skid plates to protect the vitals. 
All-Terrain 275-60R-80. General grabber tires come standard on the Trail Sport versions and seven drive modes, including New Sport, Trail and Tow modes, allow drivers to optimize the powertrain to the terrain. Read our Passport prototype drive to hold you over till we get a chance to test one. Honda has fully revised the pilot's interior with standard power adjustable and heated front seats, and an emphasis on a simple layout and improved material quality. The base RTL comes equipped with leather-trimmed upholstery and a power tailgate, while the Trail Sport uses an easy-to-clean synthetic leather upholstery and gets a standard panoramic sunroof. All season floor mats make the cut too. Trail Sport Elite takes the high road with perforated leather seating, ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, rear climate controls, rear door shades, and expanded ambient lighting. A 12-speaker Bose Premium audio system with a subwoofer also comes standard on the Trail Sport Elite. Compared to the previous generation Passport, the new model benefits from an additional 1.3 inches of rear seat legroom and increased cargo room courtesy of the longer wheelbase. Tech and infotainment start off with a standard 10.2-inch instrument panel and a standard 12.3-inch touchscreen running Honda's latest software. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, share, and also comment down below. See you in the next video.